All right, so I wanna to touch on a thing that I see done a, a lot in the gym. Uh, dominantly being done on things involving the lower body, uh, quad movements, um, and chest movements, more so than anything else, okay? And that's, I see people are pausing on every single rep that they're doing or a massive percentage of the reps that they're doing. So remember when the goal is hypertrophy, it's about a significant amount of tension, time under tension, okay? So if Nicole lay back here for me, we'll demonstrate uh, a chest press. And what I typically will see is people coming down to the eccentric, so they're going down. And then when they come up, they come to a full lockout. And what the issue here is, is we, what we call stacking the joints, right? So the wrist is above the elbow, which is above the shoulder joint. So. The joints are stacked, which is taking the load, okay? And it's taking it off what we're trying to target, which would be the chest, okay? So say you're, do, you're supposed to do 10 reps and every rep, at least, you know, 60% of the reps you do are paused in this position. That's like doing just a bunch of repeated singles instead of time under significant tension. So what you wanna do is she'll go down to the eccentric again. So all the way down, you can go a little faster then come back up. And instead of coming to this position, stop shy of that. So just a soft elbow position and not a locked out elbow position and not hands or wrists above the shoulder, right? So, because we're losing that position here. Because remember, the, the part of the chest and, and the function of it is to adduct the arm, okay? So at this point, you're, you're not adducting against anything. It's not like you have a cable on a fly which is pulling this way, right? This is a free weight and even in a machine which is pushing straight down with gravity. So when you get this position, it's like, pause, relax. Okay, let's put tension on the chest. Pause, it's on the joints. It's on the chest, it's on the joints. So you're just, you're taking tension off of the chest. Maximize that. And it's not to say that you can't ever pause in a movement. But don't pause until you have to pause, okay? So let's get the most out of the movement. So when she's pressing, it's gonna be this nice, smooth, continuous motion and not fully coming up to that stacked position. And it's just tension, tension, tension. And once she starts really fatiguing out and that tempo on the concentric starts getting really slow and she wants to get a couple more reps, then yes, yeah, she can come up to a soft lockout, breathe for a second or so, and then drop controlled, try another one, and again, another one. And that's kind of extending the set, but after you've reached that point to where you can't get any more out of that continuous tension. So let's take this and let's move this over to the legs. So she'll come over here and we'll use my uh, swing squat for an example. Um, and people will do this on a hack squat, on a pendulum squat, on a leg press especially. Same exact thing. So she'll get in position here coming up okay so she's going to go to a squat so what will you typically see so she'll squat all the way down come up and pause and then squat come up and pause okay and it's again it's taking the tension off what we're trying to target whether that be if you're doing hip dominant or quad dominant um, off the glutes and or quads okay and again you're just stacking joints here right so Again, same concept as when you're doing a press. You're coming down, stop shy of that lockout, and then you're right back down. There's not that pause at the top. You will see this done, and just open your eyes up and look around the gym. You see this done all the time from the first rep. Come down, constant tension, she comes right back down. And let's say she has a hard time going up, it's really slow. Okay, let's pause for one second, then go back down controlled, and then back up. If she has to pause for a little bit, and then right back down controlled, and then back up. That's maximizing the amount of tension, you can rack it, um, on the tissue that you need to to get more out of this to create that hypertrophy response that we're going for, guys. So whether it's this, a leg press, a chest press, whatever it may be, you need to watch this because it's happening across the board. And you'll see really, really quick when you don't pause how much harder that shit is to do and how much more tension you will feel in whatever you're trying to target, okay? Now, we can flip this on one exor uh, an exercise to where um, it's a little different. So that's like in a, in a row position, right? So in a row, in this 
like if you, if you're not gonna see pause in the contracted position. You'll see people pausing in that stretch position. That's night and day from pausing in a pushing, pressing type movement because now you have significant amount of tension on the tissue, right? And it's gonna be much harder to pull it out of that position, right? So that's manipulating resistance for a while. Now this is again gonna come down to more of pulling movements than it is any type of pushing type movement. So that's just kind of give you guys a, a little different outlook on this. So get into the gym, do not pause until you need to, put as much tension on the tissue as you possibly can. When you get a forced decrement on that concentric, then it's okay to pause a little bit to extend the set if you have to, and then that's it. Okay guys, don't pause, pause, pause. That's just like a bunch of repeated singles and it's just, you're making it easier. And the whole point is to train your ass off and train with high levels of effort, tension, and intensity. Hope this helps, guys. No pause. <laughs>